So this video is going to show the proximal tib-fib manipulation. To begin with, you need the patient in a supine position. Um, also, hook line would work uh, with the involved side knee flexed to approximately 70 to 90 degrees. From here, you're going to place the second metacarpal of the proximal hand posterior to the head of the fibula. And so what this is going to look like is I'm going to use my MC. I'm going to come in here and find the posterior aspect of the fibular head, being mindful of the common peroneal or common fibular nerve that lies in that posterior aspect. And I'm going to bring my hand in a rectilinear fashion such that I move some of the soft tissue out of the way so that I can get as much uh, kind of contact, if you will, with this bony structure to my patient's bony structure. If there's uh, meat or, or muscle uh, skin of this lateral gastroc head in the way, you need to move that out of the way so that you're in close uh, contact with the fibular head. So we're gonna move in a slight rectilinear fashion. We're gonna approximate at this point. From here, our opposite or opposing hand is going to take the distal ankle, just proximal to the medial and lateral malleolus. And we're going to maintain close contact here externally rotate the tibia while we flex the knee to end range. So what's going to happen is we're going to get right in here. Now there's going to be a fair amount of tension that builds. Once we get to end range with that external rotation, so we're, we're kind of wringing it out and taking up all available range of motion, at the very end range of motion, we're going to apply a very quick thrust and that is the HVLAT, or the high velocity, low amplitude thrust. Our more proximal hand provides a posterior block directing the proximal fibula anteriorly. Uh, if you do or do not get a cavitation, that is not important, right? The cavitation is nice, but not necessary to deliver the manipulation. Make sure that you get the individual all the way to end range. It is slightly uncomfortable because your hand is on the skin distally and then deliver the thrust.